modeling the economy. In this video, I'm going to explain the circular flow of income model, which attempts to illustrate the flow of resources, income, output and expenditure within an economy or an economic system. Uh, this model, the circular flow of income model, is really good at illustrating the interdependence. Remember, this is one of the nine key concepts. Um, it is really good at illustrating the interdependence between economic decision makers interacting and making choices in an economy. Who are these economic decision makers? Well, households, firms, the government, the banks and the financial sector, and the foreign sector, which includes foreign firms and foreign households. In the uh, model that I'm going to be illustrating, there are leakages and injections because I'm illustrating an open and a complex economy with a government sector, a banking sector, and a foreign sector. So let's see what the circular flow of income model looks like. At first, it seems really complex. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the key features of this model. You have five sectors represented in this model. You've got the household sector. The households are the owners of the factors of production. You've got the business sector or the firms sector. You've got the government sector, the banking or the financial sector, and the foreign sector, which includes foreign firms and households. So basically, as I said, the households are the owners of the factors of production. What they do is they sell the factors of production, land, labor, capital, and enterprise in resource markets. And the business sector employs those factors of production. In return, businesses pay income for use of these factors of production. So land receives rent. Um, the owners of land receive when, the rent. The owners of labor receive wages. The owners of capital receive interest. And the owners of enterprise receive profit. Now, what does the business sector do with these factors of production? Well, they use them as inputs to produce output of goods and services. So the firm sector produces the output of goods and services. As you can see, the factors of production flow from the household sector to the business sector and the output flows back from the business sector to the household sector. Households then um, take uh, the income that they have received from selling factors of production and they spend it on goods and services. So this money comes back in the form of expenditure on goods and services, comes back to the business sector. So you've got the inputs, the factors of production flow from the household sector to the business sector. And you've got the income of the factors of production coming back from the business sector to the household sector. You've got the output being produced by the business sector flowing from the business sector to the household sector. And then you've got households spending their incomes on goods and services. So the expenditure comes back to the business sector. These are the key flows. However, because there are three other sectors involved, this leads to certain money leaking out and certain money being injected back into the circular flow. So households don't spend all of their income. Some of their income goes to the banking or the financial sector in the form of savings. All the leakages I have um, drawn and written in the color blue. So the color blue represents the leakages. Um, households save part of their income in the banking sector, and businesses also save part of their uh, profit or income. Um, households pay taxes to the government, and so do businesses. The business sector also pays taxes to the government. That's another leakage. And households don't always spend their goods and services on domestic goods and services. Uh, sorry, they don't always spend their income on domestic goods and services. Sometimes they spend their money on foreign goods and services, and this is called import expenditure. This is money that leaks out of the household and business sector and goes to the foreign sector. However, every leakage has a corresponding injection. So the banking sector uses the savings um, from the household and the business sector to basically lend money out to other households and other businesses that are wishing to invest. So this money comes back into the circular flow in the form of investment. Um, all the arrows that are drawn in green represent the injections. 
Okay, um, the government uses the taxes that it collects to provide public goods, merit goods, um, build infrastructure, and so on. So this money collected through taxes comes back into the economy in the form of government expenditure. This is another injection. And the foreign sector doesn't just sell goods and services to our country. They also buy some goods and services from households. And basically, the money comes back in the form of export revenue. And they also buy some goods and services from our own domestic businesses. So the money comes back in the form of export revenue to the business sector. Now, you can see this is a way of illustrating how um, income expenditure and output flow within an economy. Injections will increase the size of the circular flow. Uh, because this is money being injected into the circular flow, while leakages will decrease the size of the circular flow because this is money leaving the circular flow. Um, if the economy is at equilibrium, if there is balance um, in the economy, the sum of leakages will equal to the sum of injections. If the sum of leakages exceeds the sum of injections, the size of the circular flow will shrink, it will decrease. If the sum of leakages is less than the sum of injections, so the sum of injections exceeds the sum of leakages, the size of the circular flow will increase. Um, this model shows the flow of input, output, income and expenditure within an economy, but it also shows how interdependent all economic decision makers or all economic actors are, or all economic agents, how interdependent they are. It's a way of showing the interdependence between all economic decision makers within the economy.